there's, there's intense scrutiny put on the researchers for both answers. The, the citizens want answers. The parents of kids, for example, with childhood leukemia, some of whom had died, want to know why. And so that puts a different, I'd say, um, spotlight on the team doing this kind of research. So again, this is not something that uh, is typically taught in schools of public health. How, how would you conduct yourself in a setting like that where there's intense public scrutiny and, and even media attention, sometimes national media attention with spotlights on the stage when the results are released. Um, that's not a typical um, scientific study setting. In fact, you could argue it's so atypical that it introduces yet another possibility for investigator bias uh, to, to be able to try to say something, you know, at the result of, as, a, as a result of all this work. So I think students in public health who are either contemplating being involved in, in uh, work like this in the future or find themselves in situations like this have to just stay true to their principles, stay true to their attention to detail and, um, you know, the facts, let the facts fall where they may and state the scientific truth as best you understand it. Speak the truth, I, I would say, is the, uh, in a, even in a, in, a, in a highly scrutinized and you know, highly publicized setting, stay true to your principles and stay true to what your professors at Boston University School of Public Health have taught you.